Simmer is 23 years old and jumping out of his paddock hurt his front left leg. You can see him seven days later under anti-inflammatory non-steroid treatment. The superficial flexor tendon does not exist anymore. The carpal tunnel and the forearm muscles are swollen. He cannot put weight on the leg and spends most of the, his time lying down. The situation was desperate, therefore I injected systemically allogenic stem cells to improve his general state and prevent colic. I took some blood to prepare autologous stem cells. After 10 days, his general state had improved, but he still spent a lot of time lying down and did not, not, and did not put weight on his leg. Here he is the terrible ultrasound with the non-existent tendon. This day I injected intravenously autologous stem cells in the tendon, the carpal tunnel, in the forearm muscles and by local perfusion after a shockwave treatment on the injured area. Eighty days have passed since the injury and uh, here is Simma trotting almost soundly and his general state has improved. Andrea shows us the horse eighty days later trotting with only minimal lameness. The shockwave treatment was repeated and systemic ozonotherapy was given. This is the self-transfusion with ozono, a rich blood treatment that acts as a catalyst on the injected blood stem cells. We see him a month later, a hundred and ten days after the trauma. The tendon is still very swollen and the leg still unsure, but trotting with the lunge, his movements show a miraculous recovery. Seven months after the incident, we see in the ultrasound an extraordinary improvement 
and the horse began walking regularly. Ultrasound, eight months later, show an extraordinary improvement, and the new tendon fibers are beginning to line up. Simmer has already begun to gallop. After nine months, Simmer is trotting and galloping with no sign of his 24 years and the tendon diameter is noticeably reduced. In this case, the stem cells have literally saved the life of a 23-year-old horse, rejuvenating him. The clinical ex experiments continue. Qualified and quantified blood stem cells are injected following a consolidated therapeutic protocol, and the results on thousands of cases are evaluated and catalogued. Moreover, works have been published in important international medical magazines covering ophthalmology, dermatology, orthopedics, cardiology, etc., where the therapeutic results through diagnostic images and the type of cells used are confirmed. Therefore, assertions of the lack of scientific method show superficiality and incompetence in regenerative medicine. I would advise these individuals to study a bit before discrediting the work of someone who has dedicated years to a project that can improve the life of many people who are suffering. Of course, for human medicine, one must still carry out various experimental phases, but this stem cell therapy has all the characteristics to successfully overcome them because it has for the first time adult pluripotent stem cells because what will be experimented is quantified and qualified because these cells are blood products and because it has a safe protocol, scientific works and accepted patterns. Furthermore, through a new quantistic concept introduced in medicine, one is able to explain phenomena otherwise incomprehensible, such as the known relation between the quantity of stem cells used and the therapeutic results, or the improvement in the damaged tissues, even though very few stem cells reach this area.